2022. We're here on the DTS stands. Paul, what machine am I standing in and where am I going? This is the Fenix Travelling Column Machine from DTS. This is a huge machine, in fact, seven metres in the x-axis. It's the biggest milling machine here at MAP 2022. So you've got seven metres in the, uh, the Travelling Column x-axis, uh, three metres in the, um, up in the y-axis, and then the z-axis is one and a half metres. It's an absolute monster. Um, ISO 50 and you can see this head here is actually a UAD head and you can get to um, th oh, about 300 million positions I believe. Did you enjoy standing up there Chloe? Yeah it made me feel a bit seasick. I felt like I was on you know one of those haunting houses at the fair. <laughs> um, but we've seen we've seen these machines before. How amazing are these machines? What what places, um, engineering places, do these machines go into? Because they're not your bog standard. No, the they're MCs, not. They're they? no, really in industrial applications, huge, uh, you know, the energy industry, oil and gas, parts that can be, you know, as big as you would uh, expect on a machine with a seven metre X axis. But the, what would happen here is you can only see the travelling column element here on yeah. the machine. You would have a fixed table. Uh, in the floor, foundation for you know, with the foundations, put that in the floor. You could also have a rotary table as well, which would index uh, too. So there's so many possibilities with a machine of this size. I want yeah, to talk, talk about to me the, about the head because this head is really a technology savvy head, and there's so much you can do with it. It is. I mean, this this is a lateral uh, ram, uh, and so basically you've got three linear uh, guides here which support this. If you if we bring the camera around this side. If we bring the camera around this side, David, you'll see, see there is two guides on the uh, on the right of the ram, and then there is one on the underneath. If we go back to the other side where the camera was before, you'll see there is also another linear guide here. So that's your support. That's your three supports when the ram is extended. Now, being able to get to 360 odd million positions means your opportunities for machining angled holes and things like that are just endless. And with their head, patented technology patented technology yeah. you get over 20 tons of clamping force so once it's clamped massive. it's yeah, not, not moving go, it's no. not moving absolutely not so tooling um what tool is it bt50 so it's an iso 50 let's let's go let's around go the back around, of the yeah. machine because we'll be able to look at uh, a few of the uh, aspects so bearing in mind this machine would normally take about six weeks to install in a company um, they had to do it in less than three days here at Mac wow. to get the machine in. It came in seven containers um, and it's going out on Sunday. So wow. it's Friday today and it's going out on Sunday. But I think where you started um, all of this, Chloe, this is where the operator would come up and be able to... Um, what control system is that, Paul? So this is a Heidenhain system, obviously the conversational system that everybody seems to get to grips with easily and love. But this is where uh, the operator operator would be positioned obviously he can see and access the working area very easily and uh, very accommodating now what's your step when you move backwards there David so we've just gone up one set of steps um, we're going to go further down the machine uh, obviously we're at the back of the machine now um, if we go up here so this is where the tooling the would be of the tooling oh my gosh yeah so here this is where you would load your tool carousel I'll move this side so you can uh, see in there now you can obviously select however many tools you need um, for, I would imagine with some of the parts on this machine, you know, maybe 60 or 90 tools is more than enough. ISO 50, load them in there. And again, you can see just from an operator's perspective, how easy this machine is uh, to get to grips with and manage. In fact, let's walk around the other yeah, way as well. Because, because this, this machine is so vast and it's, it's just... Things like coolant filtration yeah. systems, um, being the biggest machine here at Mac is a real statement from DTS. You just can't uh, take your eyes off it, can you? You can't. You really I can't. mean, the Phoenix machine is one of many within the uh, the Correa range, and this particular machine here is now going to another show, but then it's coming back here because DTS have sold it from the oh stand my gosh. this week. DTS. They've sold it from the stand, um, and it just represents you know everything that Correa are. We're going to be at Correa's open house, which is on May the 10th and 11th this year, and we'll be looking at not just machines like this, but huge bridge mills, traveling column, bed milling machines. So it's not just machines like this that they uh, do? No, the, the, the range is vast and extensive, but what this does is it demonstrates, you know, where they can get to, yeah. but they can get even bigger than this as well. So it is a real, uh, it's been a, a real mouth-watering prospect here at Mac. <laughs> 